What's going on everyone? This is Cadman Cycling. Welcome back to the channel. And today we have something a little bit different. This isn't a race. This is actually a group ride called Pole Position with Tony Kanan. Uh, so Tony Kanan is a bit of a racing legend, just not in bike racing. Uh, he's actually known for being a race car driver in the IndyCar series. Uh, so IndyCar, for those who don't follow it, is kind of like the North American version of F1. Um, so F1, what that is to Europe and kind of on the international stage. IndyCar is similar, but mostly in the North American continent. So today we're actually riding alongside with him. Uh, we can see in the yellow, um, kind of he's the group ride leader here. And he does this every Tuesday. Uh, he actually uses Zwift kind of to stay in shape. He uh, He's originally from Brazil, um, and he's won the Indy 500 back in 2013, so a few years ago. But he's been around, I think his first time racing in the Indy 500 was in 2002, so almost 20 years. And he's really become uh, one of the most accomplished, but also just well-liked drivers Um throughout the the IndyCar circuit. I know I kind of grew up going to the Indy 500 every single year and watching him race and he's always been one of my favorite drivers. Um, so the Indy 500 is it happens every year on Memorial Day so it's actually coming up this weekend and it's a race that takes place in Indianapolis which is the capital of Indiana in the US um, just on a, a speedway just outside Indianapolis. And it's actually the largest sports venue in the world. Um, so it's a 2.5 mile oval track. Uh, Indy 500 means the total race is 500 miles long. So they go around the track 200 times. Uh, it takes a few hours. I mean, they go at speeds over 200 miles an hour. So much faster than we're going here on the bike. Uh, but it's really cool just to kind of join this and ride alongside him, especially since this is like a driver or top level athlete that I've followed for a while. Um, he is into triathlons, so I think he uses Zwift kind of to stay in shape on the bike, but he also credits it for kind of just helping his overall performance level and um, keeping consistent with a top level athlete um, as, a, as a race car driver. And I actually first uh, found out that Kanan was into Zwift because uh, GCN, Global Cycling Network, uh, their channel on YouTube actually had like a meetup with him and they did some Zwifting but they also went through a few other like exercises that a race car driver would go through um, and I think it was Sai uh, who kind of went, went through a lot of those uh, sessions alongside Tony Kanan so that's the first time I figured out that he was um, a fellow Zwifter so I joined this race, uh, this footage is actually from a few months ago, but just wanted to release it now since the Indy 500's coming up in a few days, um, and it was really cool getting this opportunity to race alongside him, or ride alongside him. I know for Tony this is probably just a, a rest day kind of effort to stay in shape. For me, I'm doing everything I can to kind of stay with him. We're going through... Uh, Tempest Fugit right now, but we'll also go up the Volcano Climb. So this is, it's not a race, it's not mileage based, but it's just an hour long workout. Uh, so on the top screen, there's a countdown timer uh, as we skip forward a little bit, but we can see there's 43 minutes left of the 60 minute ride. So my goal here is I kind of just wanted to stay with uh, the group that Tony Kanan was in. So wherever I see this yellow Tron bike with the arrow above, I'll kind of follow him around. As we start to make our way towards the volcano climb. Um, but just a little bit more about IndyCar. Uh, for those who are interested, I know this is kind of different for this channel because I usually review my races, but this is just a, another interest of mine. Um, so like I was talking about earlier was F1 versus IndyCar. Um, IndyCar is primarily in North America, but also the courses are a bit different. Um, so they both have circuit and road courses, uh, but I think 
F1 just sticks to those courses, whereas IndyCar also has a few oval circuits. So like the Indy 500 is an oval circuit, 2.5 miles uh, with just four turns. I don't think F1 has any oval circuits. Uh, so that's one of the differences. Another one is the engines. Uh, so F1 teams build out their own engines or even purchase them from elsewhere. Whereas IndyCar, you can only choose between, I think it's either a Honda or a Chevy engine. Um, so it's much more fixed. It's kind of like the teams aren't building their own engines. I mentioned earlier, Tony's from Brazil and he's one of the most just well, well liked drivers in all of IndyCar and most accomplished uh, now that he's becoming a veteran in the sport. Um, but also, so this Indy 500 is like one of the biggest sporting events in the world. Um, I mentioned that the venue is the largest sports venue in the world, but I think at like the peak capacity or the largest Indy 500 ever had, it was like 350,000 fans at it. So it's just this huge two and a half mile track with grandstands completely surrounding it. And it's really just, I mean, it's such an extravaganza. It's, it's not just about the race. Uh, people show up kind of a week ahead of time and and just enjoy the festivities. But overall, I think it's a pretty good testament to Zwift that we have a, a pro athlete here that really uses Zwift almost on a daily basis just to, to keep in shape and uses it as part of his training. Um, so again, it's kind of just it shows what Zwift is all about. Like it provides this platform for anywhere from beginner cyclists to pro cyclists to athletes in completely different sports to kind of reach people at every different level. Um, and they can race, they can ride through the different worlds. And really now there's enough people on the platform that there's always other people at your skill level. Uh, so that's kind of nice and shown in the different categories how you can join anywhere from cat a to cat d um, but there's others out there that kind of are at your same skill level uh, to race against and makes this platform a lot of fun since there's so many people in it as we're going up the volcano climb here my heart beats reaching 190 which again almost feels like a race as tony kind of decides to start pushing the the power a little bit um, and ultimately this is where I get dropped. So this is just the very last section of the volcano climb. Um, I stayed with him for about 50 minutes. Uh, we have 11 minutes left in the workout, uh, but I, I just don't have it. So I enjoyed riding with him. I even got a ride on, uh, as well. And it's cool because in these group rides, since he's the leader, he can kind of chat throughout the race and it, it pops up on everyone's screens. But yeah, just getting closer to the finish as I watch him pedal off into the distance. And now looking forward to this year. Um, so qualifying is done for the race. Uh, Tony qualified somewhere in the top nine. I'm not sure exactly what the position was, but there's 33 drivers that start the race. Uh, so he's near the top again. Uh, he, he usually is. Uh, he always has a, a good chance to win it. Um, so I'll be excited to watch. It happens, it's always the Sunday of Memorial Day weekend. Uh, 33 riders, and it's so also different than an F1 start, where it kind of, they start on the grid um, and start from the stop. This, it's like 11 rows of three um, that all start together. They kind of go around the track a few times as a warm-up, but then they kind of bunch up and all start um, at a, a high speed and it's like they go three wide into the first corner so it's a really interesting start as well um, but I'm just excited to go and kind of to be back with everything that's been going on uh, to see the race in person and uh, see obviously I'll be cheering on Tony I he's always been one of my favorite racers so I hope he does uh, well this time around and I know this has been a little bit of a different video uh, with the weather nicer. I've been getting outside a bit more, but 
still throwing the bike on the trainer every once in a while and getting some Zwift races in as we get to the end of the workout here. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I'll still be doing the voiceovers and kind of the live in-race recaps. Uh, this was a bit of a different video. Uh, not all about Zwifting and biking, but kind of bringing a celebrity into the platform. I thought it was pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, as always, I'll see you on the next one. Uh, don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, this is Cadman Cycling. See you next time. Bye.